All right, so now that the uh, script itself is mainly finished, um, it's time to cover how to comment and write documentation and instruct uh, the user on how to use your script. Now, when I say documentation, I don't really mean go through your code and document everything you're doing because that's generally not what you should be doing. Um, you should be writing code that people can read anyway. But for the beginning of your script, you often find stuff like comments saying, this is what the script does, this is what it's called, this is what we're doing, and yada yada yada. Alright. So, what I like to do when I make a comment, uh, when I start out my documentation, I like to make a nice line of equal signs at the start. Uh, just copy it, paste it uh, down below. And then after that, do one of those little squiggly line ones. Don't need the uh, first one. Alright, now in here, you type in the name of the script. So the name of the script for, for this one is just synopsis journal. Journal, or scene, synopsis scene, scene. Then you type in the author. So author with colon. And then, well, I wrote it, but I'm not really happy with it. I don't really want it published properly. So I'm going to go, you, you're the author. Author. I just helped you along a little bit. Then, the date. The date that you made the script. So, if I look at my date right now, it is the 13th of March. Okay. 13 March uh, 2013. 13th. Alright, so we got the date, um, the name, the author, and the date. Now, under this one, you type in the description. So, description. And here's where you type in. Uh, what you describe it to be. So, the synopsis journal, in my opinion, is hmm, what this script does. This script allows you to maintain maintain a database signifying signifying what your current objective is as as well as providing uh, a brief summary summary of recent events and that's what the script does basically all right so we got that one done now I like to have straight lines awesome go down and now this is instructions so instructions instructions now the instructions for our script is pretty simple it's uh... head into head into the editable region editable region region and that needs to be spaced out and modify things as appropriate modify things as appropriate as appropriate. And they should know what to modify since it says edible region and uh, stuff like that. Alright. Now, we have to worry about um, them changing it. So we need to make sure we put these, uh, show them how to do it. So, what I think is appropriate. Now, To change uh, description text text during game, use the following in a script call. All right, so that should uh, be pretty easy to follow. Now. You want to you want to clarify for people. So, 
even though we know that you are passing in a variable, you can put quotation marks around the uh, variable name if you want to, and that way people know what they should be doing in a script call. Alright, replacing text. Replacing text. Uh, with the text you wish to have in your description. Alright. Now we do the exact same thing for our uh, other two. So the background image. So background image and um, the objective. So objective first. Uh, objective. So to change objective text, your game use the following script call: change objective text and raising text with the text you want to have in your description, and that can stay the same, I think. Now, same thing for background image, right? Background image. To change background image, background image uh, during game during game used to holding a script call uh, and this one you go file name file name replacing file name well they should know what file name is by default uh, picture must be located in your pictures folder pictures folder alright and we are pretty much done for our documentation for the start of the uh, script. So, as soon as you come into it, you'll see some notes scene, author, you, date, 13th of March 2013, and showing, uh, yeah, uh, the instructions on how to do things. So, I'm thinking maybe if I load up another project of mine, that one, which has uh, some other documentation for scripts I've made before, which looks probably a lot more professional. Yep, that one's metronome skill in battle. Uh, the script puts in a skill similar to Pokemon's metronome in the sense that that skills will be chosen at random to be used if the skill is used. All right, the instructions: simply create a new skill in the database and call it whatever you want. Set the scope to random enemies, so you don't actually have to choose an enemy in battle when trying to use a the skill. Then set the skill ID below. So, here. Okay. Uh, what else we got? But uh, Battle Voices was a big one. Alright. Active Voices in Battle, it's version. I forgot to put version in this one, so version. This one's just version 1.0, 1.0, so it can be revised later. And we have description. Uh, script grants you the ability to have your actors talk throughout battle. It will pick an actor at random at the start of battle to say something uh, relevant about what they that's uh, relevant relevant about what about what they expect from this battle. After that, the actors will get voices when attacking and when get and when getting damaged. Also, when using a skill. And then the instructions below. And I, can't be bothered reading that. Okay, but that also showed me to do. Nope, that. Yes. Okay. There we go. That looks a little more neater and nicer to me. So that's how you add document uh, documentation to your script. It wasn't something I really thought I needed to cover as a tutorial because it should be pretty easy and straightforward to do yourself. I just wanted to show you my way of doing it and if you like it you can copy it, I'm more happy with that. But that's really up to you. So you can do instructions first and description if you want or you can just not do description at all. It doesn't really matter. I would recommend keeping this part though because this part kind of signifies it's your script so I'd keep that if I were you. But description and Description you don't need, make sure you have instructions. You need instructions for your script. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So until next time, stay safe.